Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you this uh, portable laptop uh, screen system. You can take it with you, helping you transform your office, workplace, and more. I'm going to jump into the review up next. My name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of tech reviews and today I'm getting the chance to review this cool piece of tech. This is made by a company called Lee Mink. Uh, this is their tri-screen system that turns my existing laptop into three screens. And for full disclosure, uh, Lee Mink reached out to me. They sent me this product for my testing and review. There was no money compensation or anything like that. And my uh, opinions in this video are my own. I'll let you know about my experience unboxing this thing, going through the setup, and uh, what my final thoughts are with this particular monitor system. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video because if this is something that you're interested in, uh, Lee Mink did send me an exclusive code that I can give out to viewers of my channel, which will get you guys a significant discount on this monitor system. That I'll be telling you about at the end of this video. So on the box, we have Free Your Imagination. Free Your Imagination seems to be a theme, portable tri-screen uh, for laptop. Uh, let's just see if there's anything on the back here. Just another picture of what the setup is gonna look like. Let's go ahead and open this up. Kind of a uh, magnetic uh, seal to the box. And then this just pops open. So on the inside of the lid, we have instructions here on how to properly connect your laptop. We'll go through those here shortly. Ooh, and look at the sleek setup. This is fun. So you can pull this out. And this side looks to open up. Very cool. We'll set this up uh, in a minute. See what else we have here under the padding. All sorts of different cables that come with it. So it actually comes with two of these uh, HDMI to mini HDMI cables, two USB-C to USB-C cables, and then two more cables, USB uh, or USB-A to USB-C cables. So there's also this bag of little plastic caps, and then on the bag it's labeled using the protective cap if your laptop is an ultra thin style it helps to reduce shaking. And then we also have our S19 user guide. Handy padded case, zipper top, and let's just look at the inside, all padded uh, for great storage. This looks to unfold like so, and we are set up. And a big shout out to Rishab, Tata, and Donnie, our latest viewers on this channel, to find Tinker. Tinker is our little hidden robot. He looks just like this guy on my shirt, and he's gonna briefly pop up in this video, and he pops up in all the videos on this channel. If you are the first person to spot Tinker and let me know the correct timestamp, that's the amount of time into this video that he pops up, be the first person to let me know that in the comments section along with your best comment. And you might be getting a shout out in one of my future videos, as well as we will add your name to our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. So a couple of things to note, let's uh, flip it around to the back. When I get the laptop put in, uh, there is a kickstand back here that just kind of kicks out with a little button that you press and that extends the foot. Real quick, let's take a closer look at the uh, monitor piece. So at the top are some little metal, I'm gonna say clips or overhangs. These are gonna go uh, on the front of the monitor of my laptop, you'll see in a minute. And then down at the bottom are these prongs and these are also gonna go uh, slide over the front of the monitor. So from this point, I can expand or retract to the width that I need. Let's bring in my laptop. This is an LG Gram 17 laptop that I use all the time. We're gonna just kinda raise that monitor up a little bit. And I was showing you those feet and those clips. I'm gonna actually pick the uh, monitor up or the trifold here and then just kinda move it to the width that I need it and then slowly just kinda bring it down over my laptop so that it all kind of fits together. And then this is putting some weight on my main monitor. So this is where that, that little stand, the kickstand comes in the back. I'm gonna just push that button and lower the foot. And from this point, you can see the two monitors on the side. They have this protective cover. I'm just gonna peel that off at each one of these. And then 
on the sides of each one of these monitors are different ports. So looking at the edge of the left side monitor, we've got different buttons that allow you to pass through the different menus. We've got a mini HDMI port for getting video, and then down here two USB-C ports that allow you to get video as well as to power the monitor. Looking at the edge of the right monitor, again we've got our menu buttons, and then down here we've got our two USB-C ports as well as our mini HDMI. So I'm up and running. What I did is ran a USB C cable to uh, USB-C port on this monitor and then over here I actually only have one USB-C port so over there I'm running a USB uh, cable to the USB-C port that is on the side of the monitor. Uh, this one was able to read the uh, signal coming out of that USB-C however I needed to actually use the HDMI cable going into the mini HDMI of this monitor to be able to send a signal of video to that monitor. But once I did that, I was able to use the power coming from each one of these USB ports to power up the monitors. Now, if for some reason there's not enough power coming from your USB ports, I suppose you could just plug one of these cables into a like five volt USB wall plug uh, and that would work as well. But after I did that, then I needed to configure my monitors. Now I'm on uh, a Windows computer. So down at the bottom in the search here, I actually just type display. And that brings up my display settings. And then from here, I was able to see the different monitors that I had. And then from this point, I could uh, rearrange them and I can do whatever I want. If I hit identify here, this is actually monitor one, monitor two, and then monitor three is over there. Having the three monitors increases my workspace, doing several things like watching YouTube videos as well as doing video editing right on my monitor system. Lots of different options with this uh, monitor system. You can be playing a video in one spot and then maybe surfing the... Uh, internet on another one and then working with any local files on your third monitor so lots of different options with this system so let's go into a little bit more of the specifics with these monitors so these are two 14 inch uh, 1920 by 1080 monitors uh, that you have full hd these are lcd ips panels and each one swivels, so as you saw when I was unfolding, uh, you've got the ability here where this will go to about this angle if you're looking at it from the front, but then it also will extend all the way to the back sideways. So if somebody is sitting over here and you wanted them to view what's on this monitor, you can definitely do that. This other monitor that's on the right doesn't swivel all the way back. Uh, but it does, so it stops at about right there, flush with my main monitor, but it does curve all the way, you know, as, as angled as you'd want it. So if you wanted your left and right monitors on a bit of an angle so that you've got that nice uh, wraparound perspective, you can definitely do that. Tapping the top smaller button on this monitor, and these buttons are on the other one as well, takes me into the settings. I can use that larger button to either tap the top of it or the bottom of it to move up or down the menus. I can change different settings like brightness, uh, aspect, uh, color temperature, OSD settings, reset, or miscellaneous. And miscellaneous here has like signal source. So I think this is a great monitor system. Um, if you are a big gamer, uh, there was a point here where I actually pulled up uh, Fortnite and I had that on one of these monitors while I was also trying to watch a movie. Uh, unfortunately, it, I don't know if it was a limitation of my laptop. Now, I have an LG Gram 17, a uh, pretty powerful laptop that I do video editing on and stuff, but uh, the monitors just seem to be very choppy when showing both the movie playing and trying to play a video game like Fortnite at the same time. I don't know if that was a setting that I just didn't set correct as far as a refresh rate or something, but it did just seem kind of limiting with that. I am playing a YouTube video over here on the side and playing a regular uh, video without a whole lot of other processing power seems to work great. 
So if you're planning on maybe watching a video, surfing the internet, I've even had a video playing while I'm doing video editing, uh, and that seems to work great. But as far as productivity level, trying to get office work done, web surfing, um, having a video playing, having music playing, being able to see multiple displays for whatever you're working on, this has worked fantastic for me, and I can definitely see using this in the future uh, to get a lot of work done. So let's break this down. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my monitors. So I've got the monitors in here. I can go ahead and slide my laptop over. You can see that uh, the screens themselves are not much thicker than my actual laptop, so easy to just pack away. And if you guys are interested in picking up this tri-monitor system, uh, Lee Mink did set up a discount code for viewers on my channel. Uh, you can find that discount code down in the video description. You're going to get $50 off this monitor system uh, when you're checking out. So let me know your comments or your questions about this monitor system. Leave them down in the comments section below. I will do my best to answer them. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I do weekly tech videos on this channel uh, reviewing things like smartwatches, other cool tech for your home and auto. You can find all those on this channel. My name is Jeff, and as always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.